James Francis Gunn Jr. has had his hand in writing films like Dawn of the Dead, Movie 43, and even the live-action Scooby-Doo, and since his beginning has progressed from screenwriting to full-on filmmaking, bringing us superhero favorites like Guardians of the Galaxy, Suicide Squad, and the upcoming Superman Legacy. And now the screenwriter made director, James Gunn, has shared his thoughts on the quote, true origin story of one of the most renowned antagonists ever to antagonize, the Joker. Currently, James Gunn and superhero co-conspirator Peter Safran are mapping out the DCU universe. Together, they will be lining up a continuity featuring a range of superheroes and villains from the DC comics. How exciting, and how overdue. So inevitably, the legendary comedian of chaos will be showing himself once more, but with what backstory? When asked which of the Joker's backstories he considers to be the canon, Dunn replied with this, I consider whatever I'm reading true in the moment I'm reading it. As for canon, I'm not in charge of mainstream DC comics continuity, just that of the DCU, which will enter intersect and sway away and intersect again, etc. with DC Comics. These characters are all myths and I really enjoy the variations on them, especially when the artists understand the core of what I believe makes a character great and understands their history while offering a new spin. Which bodes well for fans of the DCU. It sounds like Dunn is intending to bring something fresh to the hysterical villain while remaining true to the essential cornerstones of his jokerness. Throughout the years, we've seen quite a large variety of approaches to the character, with the more recent becoming less comical and more serious. And expected to arrive in October will be the second Joker film, featuring the talented pop culture icon Lady Gaga as the Joker's adoring lover Harley Quinn. You can find out more about her in a link below. The past years of DCU movies have seemed to be always overshadowed by the MCU, but with James Dunn's comment on how to approach the world's funniest fear-mongerer, it looks like the best days might still be ahead.